Hi, you've clicked on to today's tropical tidbit for Thursday, October 16th. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service, not me. Here's the Atlantic, and here's Gonzalo, the strongest hurricane since 2011 in the basin, and this is unfortunately making a beeline for the island of Bermuda over the next 24 to 36 hours. Here it is, zoomed in beautiful cleared out eye that eyewall replacement cycle we talked about yesterday was done uh, perfectly if you want to use that word by the storm and has come out of it even stronger this is the recon data down to 940 millibars as of the last vortex message these winds in the eye this plane is actually high up at 700 millibar and is not measuring directly the strongest winds but the drops on it put into the eye found uh, winds near the surface supportive of 145 mile per hour sustained winds that's right in the middle of the category 4 uh, bin and so this is a strong category 4 and the category 5 winds are just above the surface uh, in the boundary layer so this is a, a very strong storm the good news for Bermuda is that the water in here let's see if I can put this on yeah, the water starts cooling off as you get toward Bermuda by a couple of degrees Celsius. And the buoy, these estimates are actually a little too warm. The buoy at Bermuda is showing the water all the way down to 26 degrees Celsius, which for a Cat 4 hurricane is quite cold and will not support that intensity. So this still has 24 to 30 hours to move toward Bermuda. And the cooler water and the approach of this front from the west, bringing some shear and dry air behind it, uh, will likely act to uh, weaken Gonzalo, uh, but at this point, when it's this close to the island, even if the weakening period begins now, this could still easily be a category three by the time it moves by the island, even though it is beginning to weaken, and the NHC does have a category three hurricane on approach to the island in 24 to 30 hours. And, uh, you know, they're very well prepared on this island, but it's going to be their strongest hit since Fabian in 2003. Uh, so this is going to be a very big deal. Hopefully folks are heeding their watches and warnings from their local offices and emergency management. Obviously pay attention to the NHC as the storm gets closer. Uh, this will be a nasty one out in Bermuda. And then beyond that, the track may take this as a hurricane force post-tropical storm toward Newfoundland here. And the track has been shifting ever so slightly to the east of here, but the storm will be very large by this point anyway. So large uh, major impacts are likely to be felt in Newfoundland, um, even though the storm center might pass offshore. Also in the Atlantic, uh, this is no threat to develop. This down here will have to be watched as uh, things come out of the Pacific, join together. We may get some formation in the Bay of Campeche later, uh, but right now, of course, we are focused on Gonzalo. This will be several days down the road if it decides to occur. Out in the Central Pacific, we also have a, another uh, threat, this time to the United States, in the form of a threat to Hawaii from Tropical Storm Anna, which has been struggling since yesterday. What's been going on is if we look at the water vapor imagery, there's an, a mid-level ridge centered east of Hawaii, and the southeast winds on the back side here in the mid-levels were providing mid-level shear, imparting it upon Anna's circulation, and that actually pushed the center to the north of the convection here yesterday and it's just now beginning to get a little bit better aligned with where the convection is the center may be right about here and where it really should be is down here but it's not it's up here so it's been struggling to get vertically aligned and once that happens it may have a chance to make a run at hurricane intensity and the central pacific hurricane center still has this uh, reaching hurricane intensity south of the island of hawaii but you see it weakening a little bit as it moves up over here. And you notice the track has shifted a little bit left as well. Most of the models in agreement on that. The European brings it right over Kauai at the end of the run. And uh, this is close enough. Honolulu is over here on Oahu. This would be close enough to bring some significant impacts to the most populated island in the chain. And so this would, uh, even if it's no hurricane, this would be a rare and uh, quite a doozy of an event for the Hawaiian Islands. So this is definitely worth keeping a close eye on. I believe they closed schools there uh, later on Friday for Hawaii. So they're definitely taking this seriously, which is good. They're not really used to tropical impacts. So this is going to be a big deal, even if this is not a hurricane on approach. So we keep a close eye on that. And uh, thoughts and prayers with those in Bermuda as Gonzalo comes by. Hopefully they get through this relatively unscathed, but this will be a major hurricane hit or very close to it, likely to experience the eyewall either way, given the short-term track that we have right now. So stay safe, everyone. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.